In Search of Space is the second studio album from Hawkwind, released in 1971. It reached number 18 on the UK album charts. Topic. Background Bass player John A. Harrison left just after recording the first album, replaced by Thomas Crimble who in turn was replaced by Dave Anderson from Amon Duel 2 for this album, and who in turn would be gone before its release. Electronics player Dick Mick Davies had also temporarily left so the band's live sound engineer Del Detmar was pulled in as a replacement, whilst Hugh Lloyd Langton had departed after a bad LSD experience at the Isle of Wight Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Songs You Shouldn't Do That is an extended piece that they had been playing live from Crimble's time in the band, and he asserts that he should have received a writer's credit for the central bass line on which this is based. It was recorded for a BBC Made of Ale session on 19 May 1971 for the Sounds of the 70s show. A bootleg version of the session can be found on the text of Festival. It was the encore for the Space Ritual show but omitted from that album, later appearing in 1976 on the compilation album Roadhawks. It has been part of the live set at various times throughout their career, versions of which can be found on The Business Trip 1994 and Spaced Out in London 2004. You Know You're Only Dreaming uses the riff and feel from Steve Miller Band's Jackson Kent Blues. From number 5, an artist Brock has acknowledged as being an influence upon him. This too was recorded for the BBC Sounds of the 70s session and has appeared in the live set at various times throughout their career, including the 1999 Party 1974 and the Business Trip 1994. Master of the Universe was written by Brock and Turner who sings the lead vocal, although Anderson contends that he should also have received a writer's credit for writing the main riff. It is the only track on the album that could be interpreted as lyrically having a space theme, but may also be viewed as being anthropocentric. This was also part of the sounds of the 70s session and quickly became a live favorite and almost ever present in the set, appearing on numerous live albums. The track was used by the Ford Motor Company to advertise the Ford B Max on television in 2012. We Took the Wrong Step Years Ago is a 12 string acoustic number with a band jam in the middle section and its lyrics bemoan the direction of society. A new acoustic version of We Took the Wrong Step Years Ago was included on The Road to Utopia 2018, produced and arranged by Mike Batt with additional orchestrations. Adjust Me is a band improvisation. Children of the Sun is an acoustic guitar number, although after the vocal passage the repeated heavy riff is augmented by electric guitars and bass. The riff is a familiar one of the time. The bonus track, 7x7, Seven Seven, originally the B-side to Silver Machine uses the riff from late 1960s English psychedelic band Leviathan's Flames. The lyrics concern the Seven Rays. Topic: Recording. The band originally started to record the album at George Martin's Air Studios, but after a week with little to show for their effort, and the studio engineers reported to be reluctant to work with the band after reports that friends of the band broke into George Martin's drinks cabinet, pinched all his booze and spiked the engineers with acid. The record company moved them to Olympic Studios to work with George Schiantz to finish the recording quickly. Topic. Sleeve The band had started working with a wider range of artists, many of whom were contributing to the underground press. Graphic artist Barney Bubbles titled the album and designed the cover and with Space Age poet Robert Calvert produced the accompanying 24-page The Hawkwind Log with photos by Phil Franks. The front cover is a die-cut interlocking fold-out. 
The back cover has a shot of a naked Stacha on stage under strobe lights and the phrase, "'Technicians of Space Ship Earth This is your captain speaking your oaptan is dia, d." which some people assert is a demonstration of the heavy metal umlaut. The inside panel features individual portraits of the band, however as Dick Mick had left the band his portrait was not taken, so on rejoining just before the album's release a hastily added image was included. Inside the fold-out sleeve are various pictures of Hawkwind and the Pink Fairies playing together underneath the Westway in London. There is no overall concept or theme to the songs on the album, the ideas that would culminate in the Space Ritual show are merely contained within the album package, principally the Hawkwind log. It opens with the spacecraft Hawkwind was found by Captain R. N. Calvert of the Société Astronome an international guild of creative artists dedicated in eternity to the discovery and demonstration of extraterrestrial intelligence on 8 July 1971 in the vicinity of Mare Librium near the South Pole. The discovery of the Hawkwind has led to more wild speculation than any of the mysteries of space that we have so far encountered. The facts surrounding the discovery of this drifting two-dimensional spaceship have been so distorted by guesswork and rumor that any further attempts at assessment would only increase the density of the fog. Within, the journal entries are from various times and places, including a return to a burnt-out Earth in November 1987. Themes explored include astrology and astronomy, ecology, science, occultism and mysticism, religion and philosophy. Some pieces would later be reused, such as the entries, 0207 hours 15 April 1572, Pricepi Cluster, and Countdown to Lift Off, which appeared on Space Ritual as The Awakening and 10 Seconds of Forever, respectively, and Black Elk's Offering of the Pipe. Hechetu Allo chant was later used on Black Elk Speaks. From Space Bandits. One of the last entries, 1027 hours. The 5th of May 1971, Ladbroke Grove, explains Space time supply indicators near to zero. Our thoughts are losing depth, soon they will fold into each other, into flatness, into nothing but surface. Our ship will fold like a cardboard file and the noises of our minds compress into a disk of shining black, spinning in eternity. Topic. Critical reaction Melody Maker reviewed the album in the context of contemporary German acts, feeling that their instrumental playing did not reach the same heights but that they yield precedence to no one in their creative use of electronics. Beat Instrumental assessed the album as excellent, saying that the Music alternates between spaced-out imagery and hard rock, as well as commenting that this is the start of the space trip leading to the space opera. In the USA, Lester Bangs in Rolling Stone favorably appraised the album in the context of other musical works concerned with space, going on to describe the music as monotone jammings with hypnotic rhythms and solos unraveling off into well, space. The synthesizers warble, woof and scream and gurgle like barfing computers, the drums pound, and the singers chant unknown tongue rebops." Billboard described the music as, "...forcefully compelling, electronic and repetitive," and the band, "...nearly brings to fruition its claim of being a truly mind-expanding rock group." In April 2006 it made number 83 in Classic Rocks. The 100 Greatest British Rock Albums", noting that, "...drummer Terry Aulis and bassist Dave Anderson could hit an awesome groove, allowing the rest of the band to cut loose on their acid-fueled sonic adventures without fear of losing themselves or their listeners." In the same issue, Porcupine Tree's Stephen Wilson placed it at number two in his top five, adding, It's an extraordinary whirlpool of cosmic sound, the definitive space rock statement. I love the album's repetitive, almost pagan feel. It dispensed with the idea of soloists and has a real sense of otherness.
Topic: Track listing. All songs copyright United Artists Music, except where noted. Topic: Personnel. Topic: Musicians. Dave Brock, vocals, electric guitar, 6 and 12 string acoustic guitars, harmonica, audio generator Nick Turner, alto saxophone, flute, vocals, audio generator Del Detmar, synthesizer Dick Mick, Michael Davies, audio generator Dave Anderson, bass guitar, electric and acoustic guitars, original album Terry Aulis, drums, percussion, original album, musicians on 1996 remasters CD bonus tracks. Robert Calvert, vocals. Lemmy Ian Kilmister, bass guitar, vocals on Silver Machine. Simon King, drums. Topic production produced by Hawkwind and George Schiantz recorded and engineered by George Schiantz at Air, The Roundhouse, Morgan and Rockfield Studios. Sleeve and the Hawkwind Log by Barney Bubbles Art, Bob Calvert Words, and Phil Franks Photography. Topic. Release history October 1971, United Artists Records, UAG 29202, UK Vinyl, came in fold-out sleeve and 24-page The Hawkwind Log, January 1981, Liberty LBG 29202, UK Vinyl October 1987, Emmy Fame, FA 3192, UK Vinyl May 1989, Emmy Fame, CDFA 3192, UK CD July 1991, One Way Records, CDLL 57474, USA CD, mistitled In Search of Space. March 1996, Emmy Remasters, HAWKS2, UK CD, initial copies came in digipack with a fold out sleeve and 24 page The Hawkwind Log. March 2003, Emmy Records, 3,823,682, UK 2 CD, with Doremi Fasol Latito. The 11th of October 2010, Rock Classics, mistitled In Search of Space, UK, 2x12, vinyl 1,000 copies, 